What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarter. Let's get right off into this. Bridge Roth thing, man. Okay. Fam, what's wrong with you, brother? Come, get up out your feelings. Get up out your feelings and stop acting like a girl. Yeah, I said it. Get up out of your feelings. Stop acting like a girl. Don't nobody want this pity pot over you, all this sadness and all this, you ain't coming back and all. Let me tell you something. Man the hell up. Man the hell up. It was just a fight. It wasn't even a real fight. You only got hit twice. Big deal. All that war talk, all that soldier talk, all that. You want to get in fights with people before you had the fight with Murderland them? You act like you've never been in a fight before. But yet you want to fight all the time. How a person who want to fight all the time get in one fight and act like he got shot? Get up out your feelings, man. All this pity pot and people feeling sorry for you like you a victim. You not the victim. You was not the victim. You started it. You instigated it. You started it. You and Rock. You participated in that trash. Nobody feeling sorry for you, man. Deleting your Twitter pages or Instagrams or not wanting to talk to nobody for interviews. Don't want to come back to battle rap unless it's moot. Man, get up out of here with that trash. I got to bang the gavel on you. That's some sucker trash. No, 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 no. And you making yourself look bad. You making yourself look bad. All the stuff people didn't went through in battle rap, this little stuff you didn't went through, you acting like you at a funeral. What's wrong with you? Take, embrace your shame. Embrace your shame. Like you shame so many other people. All the stuff y'all done done to people. All the little shifty things you done done. Now you whining and creeping. Man the hell up. Big deal. What you was expecting to have a fight without getting touched? You was expecting to have a fight without getting touched? Then why you started for? Why you even start to fight for then? You think grown men just gonna let you just grab and touch all over them and bump them and disrespect they dead like that? If you were looking for a fight, you found one. And? And. Big deal. Hell wrong with you. It's acting wanted to start a fight. But didn't think you would get hit in the fight. What you think going to happen if you start in a fight with the guys who got 20 dudes behind them and you got 20 behind you? You didn't think you were going to get touched at all? What you think you an X-Man? What you think you a street fighter move? Man, get up out of here with that trash. And now you sitting here whining, pointing the finger. Point it at yourself. Point it at yourself. That's what you get for joining these teams and crews. Do you see how do you see how you was when you were just doing you? Do you see how you was when you were just doing you? If you're looking for somebody to blame, blame the one that was behind you. Blame the one that was behind you. Your so-called leader, you were bodyguarding and protecting all the way up to the time that you was in, in trouble for the first time and he turned his back on you. That's who you blame. That's who you point the finger to. If anything, I'd, embrace, I'd be a man and be like, oh, yeah, you, they got me. I mean, it's a fight. It happened. They got me. They got me. No big deal. But let me say this to the ones who were supposed to have been with me, standing there with me, man. Every last one of you clowns who didn't look. I'm against y'all now. I'm against y'all now. Me and my guy in the orange who stood by my side and had my back like that. Me and him now. This our team. Now at least I know who's going to stand there with me through thick and thin, no matter what. We gonna get, we'll take our, we'll take, take our victories and losses together. At least we take them together. Can't say the same for y'all. That's what I'll be saying. No, I'm not cave gang no more. For what? For what? No, I'm not a part of this team. For what? What I need y'all for? Y'all make my raps better. Damn sure ain't got my back. 
Damn sure ain't putting no money in my pocket. I'm already established. What I need to be with y'all for? Just for extra manpower? I don't need no help. In fact, y'all the reason why I'm in trouble all the time. I was fine till I started kicking it with y'all. I was fine till I started kicking it with y'all. But one thing we not going to do, Briz, is allow you to play the victim of something you started. You started that. You was doing that through the whole battle, that whole night. You was being extra. You got hit in the mouth by a 60-year-old man. And, and, you lucky he wasn't in his 20s. You lucky he wasn't in his 30s. You probably would have left out on a stretcher, but you didn't. But you didn't. You got the bad end of his years. You got the bad end of his years. But you the one started that. You the one instigated that. Now you're trying to sit here and want everybody feel sorry for you. Well, let me tell you something. I don't feel sorry for you. I, I think you needed that. You needed that ass whooping. You know that? You needed that ass whooping. Do you know why you needed that ass whooping? Because look how humble it got you now. Now it got you wanting to think straight. Now it got you wanting to move differently. Now it got you really want to evaluate your circle that you keep around you. Sometimes a good ass whooping to do that till you want it. Yes, it will. You didn't have you didn't get stabbed. You didn't get shot. You didn't even get stumped out. You got hit in the mouth. Sometimes that's what you have to do to you young dudes who just talk a lot. Pop them in the mouth one good time. So all this whining and crying you're doing, shh, hush it. Nobody cares. Hush it. Man the hell up. Man the hell up. Get back on your game. Come back stronger than ever. That's what you do. You're not feeling sorry for you. I'm definitely not feeling sorry for you. Man the hell up. Be a man. You looking bad out here. You looking bad out here. If I hear another battle rapper or another blogger come out, yeah, I talked to him on the phone. He down. Like you're on some suicidal stuff. I'm going to bring you out. You know, I'm going to bring you out. I'm going to snatch you out that damn corner. You trying to ball up in with the lights out, sucking your damn thumb, thinking that you're going to look. Not for, get up. Get up. Go wash your face. Get up. Go wash your face. Put on you some clean clothes. Come back outside. Go wash up. Put on some clean clothes. Come back outside. Nobody finna be going through that with you. Oh, I talked to Briz. He in down spirits. Oh, he really, really feeling down. I don't think he want to come back. He really ain't got battle rap on his mind no more. He really disappointed in his team. Then tell him. Then tell him. Acting like a damn child. Tell him. You crossed me. You wasn't in my corner. You didn't have my back. I had your back for a lot of time. A lot of times I stood the back with you and was willing to take a butt whooping or whoop somebody butt over you. And when it came down to me, you turned your back on me. And I cannot accept that. I forgive you. I let it be known. But guess what? We can never be as cool as we were before ever again because I know what to expect from you. And you will not get a second time for me to put myself in a worse situation only to find you ain't going to be there for me again. So since I already know who you are, I already know what to expect from you. Let me just tell you this. This is where we part ways. I forgive you, brother. I still got love for you. I still respect you. But we can no longer be associated as partners again like this. Tell them. Stop telling everybody else. Tell them. Be a man. Stop being scary. All this tough talk. You get hit in the mouth and you acting like you got shot. Man, get up out of here. Nobody feeling sorry for you. I don't feel sorry for you. You shouldn't have started it. Why should we feel sorry for the dude who started it? Why should we feel sorry for the instigator? Why should we have any type of sympathy whatsoever over the person that wanted the advantage over somebody else because he was starting it? I don't feel sorry for you. I can see if you were defending yourself, 
but you wasn't even defending yourself. You initiated all that situation. Man up. Man the hell up. Everybody getting fights. So what? Everybody getting fights. No big deal. No big deal. You got in one little fight. I got in one little fight. My mom got scared and said, you moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. Fresh Prince. <laughs> Man, I should roast you. I'm bringing you. I'm bringing you out that corner. I don't care if you get mad at me. I'm bringing you out that corner. You ain't finna just ball up and just roll over and think we gonna let you get away. No, you gonna sit there and accept your shame with everybody else. You gonna man up, sit there, accept your shame, and fight back like everybody else have to do. Like everybody else have to do. You're not getting no easy pass. You're not getting no easy way up out of this. It's not going to happen. Period. You're making yourself look bad. You're making yourself look real bad out here. A man who can't even handle a fight. You, you wasn't even in a fight. You wasn't even in a tussle. Get up out of here. Act like something really, really happened to you. And let me find out that's true what they telling me that you did an interview that not you didn't do an interview, but that you told somebody, man, I ain't never got hit that hard in my whole life. He hit me so hard. Well, you really do it injustice to yourself. You ain't been in them streets like that. One one man, one 60 year old man hit you in the mouth and that's the hardest you ever been hitting your whole life. You ain't never been in the streets. You ain't never been in nothing funky like 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 that before in your life. Now you got a strike. Now you got a strike. Now you can say you were. I can't even say you was in a fight. You didn't even fight. You got fighted. You got fighted on. You you wasn't even in a fight. You got fighted on. Blackface fighted you. Blackface for 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 I did you. Blackface. But I did you. <laughs> you got to fight. Fight it. <laughs> you got to fight it. Come on, man. <laughs> Bridge run things. <laughs> Bridge run it. Run it. Run things. <laughs> <laughs> run, 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 fast as you can. Run, 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 fast as you can. <laughs> man, I ain't feeling sorry for him. I'm sorry. You ain't no different than anybody else. Man, get up. It's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment that's in question. It's yours. Subscribe to Battle Truth. My Patreon is up and running, y'all. Go to my Patreon, man. My channel is loaded with nothing but, look, fire content on there right now. Almost 30 something blogs on there, y'all ain't heard. Roasting sessions, real talk, kill shots. Listen, we went in on that channel. That channel going to continue to be loaded with nothing but the best of the battle truth. YouTube is changing a lot of their policies, deleting channels. Ain't no telling how long I might be here. So I'm trying to move all my supporters and subscribers over to that channel, man. Listen, at the end of the day, I'm giving you more than what's your bucks worth. I'm steady adding content to the channel. Join the Patreon. Click the link in the description box. It's very reasonable and affordable. Check out the channel. Just go look. Even if you don't get it, go over to the channel and just check out what's on there, man. It's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment. That's in question. It's yours, man. If you rock with me, you support what I'm doing. I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna let you down. I'm not gonna let you down, man. Trust me. This is what I do, man. But at the same time, we got to protect the Battle Truth and the Battle Truth brand. So all my supporters, man, that rock with me, hey, watch out for your boy, man. Look out for your boy. Next Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment, that's a question. It's yours. Subscribe to Battle Truth.